Hey all, Carpet Bagger here coming to you live from the south, more specifically the enchanted city of whimsy and wonderment that is Asheville, North Carolina. And today they're having a festival to celebrate the buskers, the people that play music and perform art on the streets. I've always felt that's one of the coolest parts of Asheville is walking around seeing the different street performers. Today they're actually doing some sort of organized event, so follow me. So what is Poetry On Demand? So I write poems on the spot for people. Okay. So we start with like a topic, something important to you, such as like a passion, a dream, uh, uh, or something you're going through. Okay. I ask you a few questions, and based on that I write the poem. At the end I recite it, and it's just whatever you feel it's worth. So. Okay. Sounds good. Do you want to help me with this, Anna? Alright, come here. <laughs> I really like to sing. You like to sing? Yeah. Okay. What kind of music do you like to sing? Um, anything that can come out of my mouth. That's okay. So. Okay. <laughs> right on. And then, uh, what is it about singing? Like, you can describe that process in any way. Um, I really just like the feeling it gives me. Like, I feel really happy. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> You know, do you take singing lessons and do like that kind of stuff? Or um, no, I don't do any singing lessons. I just do chorus here. Okay. And where's your favorite place to sing? Alone in your room, in the shower, or in front of people? Anywhere. Anywhere. Okay. Cool. Let's see what I can write for you. Placement could not matter less, as from deep, er, as long as from deeply within my chest admits a measured breath, the soul full of resonance, a song mastered time in a moment when the spotlight is shared amongst this chorus of mine. There are no broken pieces or strings, as my instrument is tuned finely, an extension of my body, my voice presenting me. Wow, that is beautiful. Thank you so much, sir. At the crafting shop, we have some protesting monkeys. No offense, I'm just not a big fan of hugs in general. I don't like hugs at all. Well, why'd you hug that guy? I don't know, I just kind of felt weird because he was like, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. So I've been putting these stickers on people, like, can you say hello, my name is? Yes. And basically when you put one of these on, you're giving, like, people in the world permission to connect with you. Okay. So, you know, we need to talk to each other, right? We need to connect again. Absolutely. Put our phones down and look at each other. Not that. That's not a phone. You're good. You're good. Um, what do we want to say? What do you want to say to the world? What do I want to say to the world? So I, sometimes I'll write, ask me anything is a good one. You know, of course you can't go wrong with free hugs, free advice, you can write shitty advice, a dollar. Um, I like, how can I help you? Um, you know, you can go silly with it. You can say, bet you can't make me laugh. Like there's all sorts of options. Or just your name. What do you think? I know, right? Is your name, is that too boring? Well, <laughs> you want me to tell you the truth? Or, I mean, your name's not boring, but why not say something else when you're, you know, when you have this option to say anything to the world? And here's one of these. So, do you want to free high fives? Oh my God! Free high Let's fives? do you free high fives because okay. that's the bridge to the hug. But we need help getting to the hug. Hugs a bit. I'm, hugs a bit intense to start hugs with. Hugs are intense. We need free high fives. We need this. You're very much needed out in the world. Yes. 
If I was an artist, I'd have like a, a hand. Free high fives! It's the bridge to the hug! Okay? You're doing important work by wearing this sticker in the world. Alright. Oh. Alright, wait. All right. Oh, oh. Let me get it. It's documented. Do yeah. you want to do my Kickstarter okay. video? I need help. What's your, what, what are you kickstarting? I'm kickstarting like a tour of this booth and I want to like, I want to have t-shirts that say free high fives. I want all this stuff, this high vibe okay. shit that well, I'm I have a YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. I have about 60,000 subscribers. I need a YouTube channel. So, so, I'll pay you. <laughs> so, so say what, whatever you want right now, and it'll it'll go out into the universe. Okay, I well, really, I want. I ultimately think I would be the perfect like correspondent for the Ellen DeGeneres show, but I don't know. You know, I already wrote her and told her that, but like you know, so she could check in. Where is the booth fairy today? You know, I'm the booth fairy by the, the way. The booth fairy. Yes, okay. like the tooth fairy, but and yeah, the booth fairy. Um, I just want people to, yeah, check out my project. Just find me on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. What's your Facebook? Up. It's um, Booth Fairy Project. Or I have a website, boothfairy.me. And just check out what I'm doing and follow me and then come out for one of the hug parades. I'm leading these really awesome events. Excellent. Free hugs. And other things, but yeah. And so what else you got going on at the booth here? Well, I have a full menu over here. Full menu? So, you know, we got... So... Your talks, hugs. We get pretty, pretty intense over here. I mean, there's some tears shed, and then we can get silly. We can do a, a thumb war. I mean, it's all What's the, the slow? Place. What's the slow clap? This is my favorite thing on the menu. The slow clap is right here, and basically, when someone orders that, they step up onto this mini stage, yeah. and we all just clap for them. Well, I'm on it, so I know y'all clap. Uh -huh. There we go. And the clap grows. It gets bigger and bigger, and then the person just kind of like can receive this awesome dose of oxytocin. Thank you. That's the slow clap. Right? Now she claps. Not down. I'm gonna get back up. Back down. Back up. <laughs> yeah. And I want those to be everywhere, like everywhere, all the schools and hospitals and prisons and there's, why not? Everyone needs a slow kill. Everyone after. needs that every day. The Asheville or the Asheville Museum. Shouldn't it be the Asheville Museum? That's what I would have gone with. Oh, that's concerning. Can we get a balloon animal made? Sure, what would you like? What, what can you make? I can make swords, dogs, turtles, flowers, heart ones, bows and arrows. Uh, Which one sounds good, Anna? Bugs. Turtle. Turtle? Alright, right, we'll go for a turtle. What color? Uh, do you have green? Yep. Perfect. Turtles are actually the smallest balloons I can make. Really? This size, I can make them even smaller. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was going to pop. Here you go. 
All right, thank you. Now here we have some of the best of the best. There's always something new and weird in the window of the weird wig store. Yeah, look at that. And how are you fine fellows doing this afternoon? Dead eyes. Black eyes. Like a doll's eyes. Alright, it's that time of year again. It is endless shrimp at Red Lobster. But I have made a resolution this year. This will be the first year of endless shrimp. I will not be counting my shrimp tails. I'm going to enjoy eating a large amount of shrimp and not treat it as some sort of sick, twisted competition. All right, we got Nashville Hot, which I'm not sure. We'll, we'll try that in a second. And then Mediterranean for the two new flavors. All right, so it's Nashville Hot Shrimp. Almost like sweet, almost has like a honey flavor. A little bit of an afterburn. The trolley is Mediterranean. Not a whole lot of added flavor to the grilled shrimp, but yeah, it's pretty good. Now, I absolutely love Nashville hot chicken, but like all these Nashville hot things, it's kind of a trend. I think KFC's doing it, they're doing it here at Red Lobster. Does not resemble what actual Nashville hot flavor is. It was it had honey on it, which was really strange. So always enjoy gorging on shrimp, but the new entries are nothing special. All right, I just wanted to say a few words for put today's antics in the bag. Uh, just you know, I've returned from South Dakota about a week ago. Been slowly editing videos. It's been crazy busy. I've been crazy busy at work. I've been crazy busy at home. So it's taking me a little while to get those videos. Oh, you went down, Scarlett. It's been crazy trying to get the videos edited. Um, if you are a Patreon supporter, the postcards did go out a little late this month. Um, I left uh, Anna, my intern, in charge of uh, shipping out uh, the letters while I was... Stop it! While I... Slap it. While I was in uh, South Dakota, and surprise, surprise, they were not shipped when I got back home. Who is calling me at this time of night? All right, sorry. This is this is the most distractible outro I've ever done. So anyway, I wanted to give an update on. I'm going to be at a couple wrestling shows uh, in the uh, Georgia area coming up. I'm going to be at OSWA Experience on uh, the 21st, which is a Saturday coming up October. Um, come there, hang out, watch some wrestling. Also, November 17th, I will be at the Caring Hands Ministry Show in uh, Saute, Georgia. And I heard... That David Garrison and uh, John Hogan and Sweet Daddy, the three troll hooligan punks that beat me up at the MVW show, are going to be there. So maybe I'll bring a few knuckle sandwiches to share. Anyways, this one's in the bag. <laughs>